Amunyela revealed that they have invested about $25 million in acquiring and upgrading equipment for ground handling services such as handling of passengers, baggage and cargo. They have also employed 90 staff members for the services. We took over NMBS equipment and because of the NMBS state of affairs, we, there were no records of many things, so we basically needed to recondition and upgrade to as good as new to give confidence to the customer airlines that our equipments are as good as new and in fact we have the newest GSE equipment on site as we speak at this airport right now on average and it is also part of our contractual obligation with Namibia Airports Company that we must acquire brand new state-of-the-art equipment. We are open to any form of audit by any concerned uh, Namibian or stakeholder. Amunyela could, however, not provide a specific date as to when Paragon will commence with its services. Uh, inform that uh, the Namibia Airports <coughs> Company is in the process of launching an application to expedite our date of commencement. Basically what had happened was they went to court, they being NAC went to court to obtain an eviction order to evict the colleagues that so feels entitled or whatever right in law to stay beyond the contractual period. NAC successfully got uh, that order from the High Court of the legal matters came after Menzies Aviation lost a court case to hold on to a contract to continue providing ground handling services to NAC. That agreement ended last month. So, insofar as when exactly, we don't know. We stand to be advised. That's why we need to be ready at the moment's note. Paragon Aviation Services, through a tender bidding process, was awarded the five-year $700 million contract recently. When Paragon begins to operate, this $700 million is likely in its all entirety to remain in Namibia, in transfer. In other words, we don't have a branch outside Namibia where we must pay management fees, royalty fees, and you know that type technical uh, fees and all this everything is here there will also be no uh, room for illicit flow of capital we are namibians all our money is here paragon is a joint venture with ethiopian airlines julia nafuka nbc news ventuk